Lindsay Brennan, right? Yes, how are Ashley, you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Looks like you got a lot of people with you. Yeah, and my, my entourage, for sure. Huge. All right, well, let me walk you back. Thanks. Appreciate it. Brandon. Hey, Brandon, what's going on, man? That's cracking. This is Hi. my sister, Janet. Janet. She's visiting from Phoenix right now. And that's Geisha and Hercules. Hercules will be coming to the event with us. Wonderful. Brandon Bond is one of the top-rated tattoo artists in the country, but he's also a pit bull lover. He is in L.A. for the premiere of his documentary about the abuse and mistreatment of pit bulls. Brandon heard about the work I do, and he just wanted to meet and get together. I'm glad to get the opportunity to come see this thing. She's a red carpet freak. Yeah. yeah. Well, there is a red carpet involved. And actually, we're donating all the profits from the film to Animal Rescue, of course. 100% pit bulls. We're very specific. Speaking of that, recently I just got contacted by this guy. He lost his job and his home, and him and his pit bull are living in a camper. I'm trying to get him and his dog back east where he has a job waiting for him. Is there a way that we can raise some money or do some fundraising at your premiere? Yeah, I'm on board. After the screening of the film, I can tell everybody to, hey, look, I made this movie with my own money. Put your money where your mouth is. We'll make everybody donate some. That's great. I'm glad we finally met. I know you heard of me and I've heard of you. But... Your reputation precedes you. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Again, I appreciate you coming. I look forward I hope to the it. Event was a huge, huge success. Bring your party hat, but because we'll be partying. Bye, Geisha. Hard, I did. You know, you hear about this economy being really bad, and you hear about everybody losing their jobs, but you don't see it up close and personal. And when I went with Ronald to give Ed food for his dog, it was it was hard to see that, and it made me want to do more. Do you have groceries or anything to cook with? No. Tonight? No. Okay. We usually try to do whatever we can do. Well, here's just something to get you started. Um, go get something to eat. Go have some dinner. Okay? Thank you, man, so much. All right, man. Thank you. So what's going on with Ed? We haven't had much luck getting donations over the phone. Well, tonight at the film festival, we got a better opportunity to get some donations. I'm going to make an announcement after the screening so you guys work the crowd. And get as much money as you can. You know, tell people they don't want to donate cash, give us a $10 cash card. Give us a gift certificate so they can buy food on the way. Really work hard at this because time is running out. And you guys know that. excited to be here with Shorty tonight. I'm excited to see the film. I'm excited to promote the rescue service. And anytime I can be in a dress with my brother at an event, it excites me. Hercules. I appreciate all you guys coming. Just enjoy the movie. It's going to be awesome. Let's watch Victory to the Underdog. All right. I really did not know what to expect when I was watching Brandon's film. Seeing the pitbull fighting really affected me. It was like, whoa. Life will always be full of heartbreak and horror, but all human emotion can be turned into a positive, uplifting self-motivation. Every day in this country, thousands of bees are euthanized because they're scary and crazy and mean. This one was supposed to be euthanized. Thank God she wasn't. Bye. I appreciate you guys coming. You might have noticed some of the well-dressed little people running around. They've, they've got a dog they wanted to talk about. This is Shorty, everybody, and his pit bull, Hercules. I've been around pit bulls all my life. I grew up in a bad, bad neighborhood where that's all they did was fight. I went to prison for 10 years, this little royally. And I got out, and I did right. I have a rescue called Shorty's Rescue. What we do, not just rescue dogs, we promote the breed by telling people that these dogs are the best dogs in the world. We get some fascinating and horrible stories. The other day, I get a message about this guy. He has a gorgeous pit bull named Ozzy. He loses his job. He lost his house. He lost everything. And he's been offered a job in New Jersey. But the problem is right now, he can't get there because he has nothing. We go drop off dog food. 
We go drop off food. Even a couple of my people that work for me is giving up their own money. And we have a jar up there on top of the stairs. When you guys leave, leave money in the jar because this guy has been through so much. I thank you for letting me have the opportunity to speak and listen to what I said. And let's help these people. Right on, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Look at that. People, they were so generous, and I was really surprised about how much money they were giving to a person that they really never met. Hi, we're with Shorty's Rescue, and uh, we're trying to help a family out right now. And we want them to get to the East Coast together as a family. Any kind of small cash. donations would be great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. After the screening, I watched Sebastian and Ronald work the crowd asking for donations. I was really proud of them going the extra mile, especially Ronald. I just hope we raise enough money tonight to get Ed back east. The winner is Victory Team. Yeah! appreciate it being here with all you filmmaker types. We are not filmmakers, in fact, not even a little bit. I, I learned, if anything, by directing and producing and all that, that you got a hard fucking job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah, it was a nightmare. Um, so I have a lot of respect for everyone here because I had no idea what I was getting in for when I signed on for this. Our film is a charity film. We're donating 100% of the money to abused animals. And, uh, the film itself centers around fighting dogs, pit bulls specifically. And we were filming it before the big case broke, uh, just for some YouTube type shit, you know? And the big case broke, everything spiraled out of control. We ended up adopting one of the big dogs, my wife and I. And uh, the film kind of follows that entire story. So anyways, it's, it's a charity film made by a bunch of people who don't know how to make movies. So uh, I really, I guess that makes this even more awesome. But, uh, I want to dedicate this to my wife because she is the awesomest chick ever. And uh, like Ricky Bobby and Talladega Nights, when she wakes up, she pisses excellence. So, this is her. All right, thank you. My goal for Ed and Ozzy was to keep them together, no matter what. And it looks like that we're going to be able to do that because of the donations we got for them. Shorty Ed. Hey. hey what's hey, going hey, on, hey. buddy? Oh. Where's our boy at? Hey. 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 Oh, you doing all right back there? Well, Ed, I know it's been a little journey, especially what you guys have been through. Yeah. But really, people helped out, so we have 1,200 bucks for you. Wow. We also have a bag of food to start out for Ozzy. Wow, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good luck. All the best. All the best. I sometimes do take this job for granted, you know, I, I complain and bitch. But after working with Ed, it just makes me realize that I am fortunate to have this job. You know, it, it's not so bad. We want to see pictures of you guys at your new house in the future in Jersey. Because now we've done something, we saved Ozzy. I'm so grateful and thankful, you know. I'm just in awe over all of it. It's touching. It really is. I. And we're gonna make it.